only two statements with four conclusions what are the statements all fishes are birds all fishes are birds all birds are rats all the birds are rats so simple diagram right this is the basic diagram the so-called basic diagram which involves minimum overlapping right all fishes are birds and all uh, birds are rats now look at the conclusions the first one all rats are fishes do you find all rats to be fishes no it's not guaranteed so first one is wrong it cannot be a definite conclusion it is a possibility but it cannot be a definite conclusion so all rats are fishes is wrong all rats are birds no not all the rats are birds only some rats are birds so this also is wrong one and two definitely does not follow these are all very basic questions from syllogisms right i mean at least the first and the second conclusion here third one all fishes are rats yes all the fishes are rats you do anything you'll always find that all the fishes are rats even if you draw all the possible diagrams here always the fishes would be rats all the fishes would be rats because all the fishes are birds and all the birds are rats you understand all the birds are rats so wherever we have birds we can put rats here we can put rats all fishes are rats so all fishes are rats is definitely true conclusion 3 follows conclusion 3 follows conclusion 4 some rats are not fishes some rats are not fishes well if you look at the basic diagram if you look at the basic diagram some rats are not fishes appears to be true because these outside rats are not fishes you know these rats are not fishes but is it definitely true no because one possible way of drawing this diagram is as follows we can just take one circle which has fishes birds and rats see all fishes are birds here you find all the fishes are birds yes all birds are rats yes all the birds are rats if you take this as the diagram possible diagram conclusion four fails some rats are not fishes which rats are not fishes all the rats are fishes all the rats are fishes if all the rats are fishes can you say some rats are not fishes no so conclusion four fails conclusion four cleared the basic diagram but fails in the possible diagram so only conclusion three definitely follows conclusion three definitely follows now interestingly if you observe conclusion one all rats are fishes and conclusion four some rats are not fishes these look like a complementary pair yes or no what are complementary pairs there are two complementary pairs complementary pair one type is some a's are b's and no a is b complementary pair two type is all a's are b's and some a's are not b's so one and four is like a complementary pair all rats are fishes some rats are not fishes if you observe properly basic diagram and possible diagram we have considered basic diagram and possible diagram all rats are fishes failed in the basic diagram let me explain this to you right all rats are fishes this particular conclusion failed in the basic diagram but it cleared the possible diagram you see all rats are fishes all rats are fishes it cleared the possible diagram but when you come to the fourth conclusion again if i consider the same basic diagram and possible diagram some rats are not fishes cleared the basic diagram but failed in the possible diagram so if you see when one is incorrect the other one is correct when you look at the basic diagram first one did not follow but the fourth one followed when you take up the possible diagram first one followed the fourth one did not follow similarly when you draw other possible diagrams you will always find that either some rats are not fishes or all the rats are fishes you will always find that either some rats are not fishes or all the rats are fishes that is the reason one and four make a complementary pair all a's are b's some a's are not b's all a's are b's and some a's are not b's so one and four is a complementary pair which means either one or four follows and three definitely follows all fishes are rats definitely follows two definitely does not follow or rats are birds does not follow sorry so your answer to this question should be your answer to this question should be sorry uh, it should be only three and either one or four follow only three follows and either one or four follows so only one and three no only one and four no only three and four no only two and three no so our answer should be none of this see none of this here does not mean that none of the conclusions follow none of this here means that the first four options are wrong this is for the options none of this is not for the conclusions it is for the options right so don't get confused when we say none of these here it does not mean that none of these conclusions follow it means none of these options are correct all the first four options are wrong hence option five is the answer and what's the correct answer this is the correct answer only three and either one or four follow statements all calendars are charts all charts are not papers how do you draw this all calendars are charts calendars all the calendars are charts all the calendars are charts right all charts are not papers all charts are not papers means charts and papers will not overlap right all calendars are charts all charts are not papers right universal negative statement we have discussed this a few minutes ago all charts are not papers so all the charts are not papers look at the conclusions some papers are not calendars some papers are not calendars true 
In fact, all the papers are not calendars. Papers and calendars cannot overlap at all because calendars are completely guarded by charts. Calendars are fully guarded by charts. Calendars cannot go outside charts. If calendars cannot go outside charts, papers and calendars cannot touch each other. So actually, all papers are not calendars or no paper is a calendar, but some papers are not calendars also can be taken as correct. I can say these papers are not calendars or these papers are not calendars. Some of these papers are not calendars, right? Next conclusion, some charts are not calendars. Some charts are not calendars, true. Some charts are not, if you look at the, this is the basic diagram. If you look at the basic diagram, some charts are not calendars. These outside charts are not calendars. But will it always be true? See, the first conclusion will always be true because papers can never touch calendars. Paper can never touch calendars. It cannot go inside charts. So it cannot touch calendars. Second conclusion. Second conclusion has satisfied the basic diagram. Outside charts are not calendars, right? Some charts are not calendars. Outside charts are not calendars. But will it always be true? No. It will not be true always. Why? See, all calendars are charts. There is another way of drawing it. All calendars are charts. Can also be drawn in this way, right? Let me draw the possible diagram. All calendars are charts. I can say calendars and charts both are the same circle. All the calendars are charts. And all charts are not papers. All charts are not papers. All charts are not papers. This is a possible way of drawing the diagram. All calendars are charts and all charts are not papers. Then what happens? Some charts are not calendars. Tell me which chart is not calendar. All the charts are calendars here. All the charts are calendars. So the point is second conclusion clears the basic diagram. It satisfies the basic diagram, but it fails in the possible diagram. Hence it is wrong. Remember a conclusion, a definite conclusion is true if and only if it satisfies all the diagrams. If and only if it satisfies all the diagrams. Here it satisfies the basic diagram, but not the possible diagram. First conclusion satisfies both the basic diagram as well as the possible diagram. You see, even the possible diagram it satisfies. Some papers are not calendars. Yes, these papers are not calendars. Papers and calendars will never overlap. So only one follows. Only one follows. Should be the answer.